Hey guys, this is Seawop the Platinum One here, and we are back to Let's Play Pokemon Black Virgin. Last time, we explored Route 16 and dealt with Team Plasma here in the amusement park. And in this episode, we are going to take on the gym. And of course, I bought more lemonades and paralyzed skills off screen. Because you're going to need them. Alright, let's get in there. Okay, so, how about it? I can see you're surprised. Have you ever guessed this gym is a roller coaster? Let me fill you in. I'll take this too. Fresh water. Hooray! Now this gym is really cool. In this roller coaster gym, the first step is to get in the car. Next comes the platform. They need to change where the coaster is going. Sometimes you can continue by riding the cars of opponents you defeat. That's how you aim for the gym leader. Yes, okay, so... Anyways... First car you'll need to take is over here. This car. By pressing forward. You can continue on whether or not you want to uh, ride the cart or not. All you really need to do is beat the trainers. Your fashion sense. It's kind of New Vemma Town-ish. Uh-huh. New Vemma Town-ish. Really. It is. Lady Magnolia. Alright. So this gym uses Electric-type Pokémon. Electric-type Pokémon are weak against Ground-type Pokémon, but don't, do not bring any Water or Flying-type Pokémon here. Because they will kill it. But, since I have a Palpitoad, it's part Water, part Ground-type. So, it shouldn't be a problem. Let's use Echo Voice. Okay, that didn't do much. Okay, that's fine. Bubble Beam. And don't start with the thing. Don't start with the uh, double team. Because I really hate that. But either way, Emolga have the, the ability Static, which is an ability that can paralyze if you make physical contact with it. In other words, hit it with a physical attack. But it has a 30% chance, though. Muddy Water. Do I want that? It's certainly not more powerful than Bubble Beam, but it, it does have lower accuracy. Nah, I'm not going to keep Muddy Water. No, I'm happy with the moves I have. Yay, another Amog. Uh, how original this team is. Yeah, believe it or not, this gym only uses, like, two, I think, either two or three Electro-type Pokemon. Maybe. And as I'll... Spark. Okay, go, go. Ooh. Okay, that... That kind of did much, but... I'm switching... Oh, jeez, pursue... How did you predict? How did you predict? Seriously, how do they do it? How do they do it? Oh god, double team. Don't start! Please kill it. You didn't kill it! You suck. Okay. Actually, don't suck. You rock. Because you just killed him, Olga. Yay. Oh no, I thought I'd be fashionista! Oh, okay. So now you have to press on the switch, and the roller coaster's path will change. So now you can take this cart, or this coaster, and then go over here. Let me actually let me actually uh, take the amulet coin and give it to give it to Whirly Pete. All right. So, you can switch out to the front. Alright. And that was only the first trainer, guys. Welcome, Challenger. I will do you the greatest of honors and accept your challenge. Challenge, if you will. Rich Boy Cody. Alright, he's got a Blitzel. Okay. That seems fair. Alright. I think it does have Flame Charge. I think Blitzel... I think this Blitzel does have Flame Charge. 
so I should be careful. Yeah, or, or Spark, one or the other. Because Spark does paralyze, can paralyze. So I have to be careful. Okay, Pursuit is all you're gonna do, then fine. Die. <laughs> roll, 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 roll on. Roller coaster. Okay, so press this switch and then take this cart. If it can hurry the F up. Oh, whoa, hi. Are you cool riding a roller coaster? When you ride it, the speed makes you dizzy. I'm going to make your head spin. It's intense battle. This is making my head spin. <laughs> Cream's voice acting. Cream the Rabbit's voice acting in Sonic Heroes is legendary, is it? <laughs> you know, whenever you go on those loops, for example, in the Frog Forest level, my God, isn't it legendary? And too bad that was her only t Actually, in Sonic Advance 3, she did it, but... Her voice actor for Heroes did it, but... And... Ah! Thunder Wave! Finally, you do something smart. And, of course, you can't move on your first turn. That... That... That is lame. And... Oh, now you're using Flame Charge? You could have killed me there, but no. You have to use Thunder Wave first to, like... Get me angry. And it's working. And by the way, paralyzation also makes your also makes your Pokemon actually cuts your Pokemon speed in half. So you'll want to be careful when you're doing so. Yeah, I know I keep saying be careful. I don't want to sound like a broken record, but it's true. Alright, strength. Thankfully, Blitzel doesn't have Static as one of its abilities, so so you can safely use physical attacks on this. All right, very good. And raising your speed doesn't matter anyway because I just defeated you, and that's all that matters. Even though I'm lost, I'm in an ocean of calm. I'm so mad at you. The way you're battling is elegant, even compared to Miss Elisa. All right, now we can write this coaster. Ah! <laughs> Isn't this fun? It's a fun time. And I think there's a trainer in here. Wait, I should probably, I should probably use a paralyzed heal on Taiga. Taiga, Taiga, Taiga. I haven't finished anime. I haven't finished anime yet. For, so far, I've only seen three episodes because I'm, I'm too lazy to see all the others. I did see one scene from a future EP, and hi. Your Nimbasa challenge is nearly reaching its finale, but if you don't mean, beat me, you won't reach Miss Elisa. I'm also a trainer who was toughened up by Miss Elisa. I'll show you the power befitting the gym thing. Okay, this gym's actually going by faster than I expected. Actually. Alright. So, go, go, my bug. Destroy them and whatever, I don't really care. Okay, and- Oh! Why did you have to do that? Dude! Great. How come it's always me? This stuff always happens to me. Maybe there's some... Whoa. Please poison. You didn't poison. I am very disappointed. Where did that term come from? I am very disappointed. Anyway. Must have come from the internet in some form or shape. Or something. Thing. 
I mean, how the hell does that work? Die. Please. You didn't die. Again, I am very disappointed. And I am very disappointed in that, too. Of course. When I have a perfect opportunity to attack it, it doesn't work. There, bug bite. Die! Yay. Huzzah, and... That's a lot of experience, actually. Venoshock. Okay, I guess we can learn that. It's not... Oh, it's definitely more powerful than that, but it's a special attack. Hmm. Let's see. <sighs> Admittedly, I could... I could probably get rid of Iron Defense or something. Hmm. Then again, I want to pull any bombs I don't want to. Okay, let's just get rid of Screech. I could do without Screech. Lady Colette. I'm lost, but I have to think harder, and that will make me stronger. Alright. It pleases me to be the opponent of a strong and honorable trainer like you. Yeah, 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 you. Yeah, honorable trainer my butt. Alright, so. Paralyze heal on Taika and Super Potion on you. You. Kevin, you, Palpatode, you, Whirlypede, and then you, Ray. So now you're technically fully healed. So yay. And let's get... Actually, let's keep the amulet coin on Tiger. No, not a super potion, you fool. Amulet coin, take that, yeah. And we should be good now. Come on. Come on. Waiting for a coaster. All right. Can't I have a good Sonic game without a loop? <laughs> okay. That's what I've been saying recently whenever I've been playing a Sonic game. Anyway, let's do this right now just so in case we don't have to do it later. All right. And wouldn't you know it, in front of the spinning wheel of doom is Elisa. So now let's actually save. Alright, now let's talk to her. Did the fantastic speed leave you dizzy? Oh yeah, it did. I went through a large loop. I almost hurled. My beloved Pokemon will be the next one to make your head spin. This is making my... Okay, I already made that joke. Okay, and behold, her most annoying Pokemon off the bat, Amolga, level 25 with the static ability, and it's only moves, it only move it's going to use is not air, okay, Aerial Ace, oh my god, you're actually being smart and not using that move, that uh, move, which is totally unmentionable. Alright, Poison Tail, quick attack, okay, not that. Okay, not that one. Jeez, and you and your Pokemon are shining brilliantly. Yes, they are. And, yep, that unmentionable move, Volt Switch. All it's really going to do is switch out your Pokemon to that. Yeah. Plus, it's stat <laughs> static, of course. I'm actually going to heal first, then use a Paralyze Heal. Just so I can hear the awesome music. Well, oh, shoot. That only, that only does a bit. Okay, that's good. And now, Paralyze Heal. Alright. Bolt Switch again. Now, guys, this is the reason why this fight is so annoying. Her, her two Emolga keep on using Volt Switch over and over and over and over again. So it's probably best that you'll want to take them out fast with a really, really strong move. Also keep in mind that they have that they do have static, so... 
so you want to take it out with a really strong special attack. Alright, let's actually use Venoshock now. And you're going to let me damage the one that is weak. Er. Crap. What do you mean you get to switch out first? Alright, Papa Toad. This way, this way Imolka won't be able to use Volt Switch and her main Pokemon, too, so... Yay! Alright, Bubble Bean. Yay, Speed Fell. Okay, that's good. Let's actually revive... Revive Whirly Pete now. Okay, cover from Fainting, that's good. Okay, Hyper Potion, you can do that. Bubble Beam. Oh, shoot. Because of that speed lower, it... Palpatote is faster. Jeez. Even though it technically should be slower, I don't... I think so. You're probably gonna use the second full restore, right? Or... Hyper Potion, yeah. Yay, you're wasting a... <laughs> Good job, you wasted your two Hyper Potions. Now you have no more healing. Good job. And I want to be smart now. I want to actually heal up that thing, yeah. And, whoa. Okay, bubble beam. Unless you have quick attack. Yep. I forgot, you have quick attack. Alright, Tiger, get out there. Alright, Venoshock. Yeah, 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 do your little Volt Switch and whatnot. Yep. Both of Moga have the same moves, by the way, so... There, is, there isn't really much difference other than their gender. By the way, Venishok does, does double damage if... If the opponent is poisoned already. So, yeah. That's good. Okay, her other Emolga is coming out. Let's go for Ray, I guess. You can take them on. Yeah, yeah. And... Uh, let's use Roll Out. I guess I could, right? Jeez. That did a bit. Of course! Even if it has a 30% chance, for me, in my case, it always has a 100% chance. Whoa. Dang it! Well, this battle's going off on a... Going off on a wrong foot, I guess. Uh, this is just wonderful, wonderful, wonderful world of Disney. Aerial Ace. Okay, this battle's been going on for a long time, seriously. Okay, Aerial, would you stop using that? Seriously, stop it! Even though it never misses, stop! Seriously! Oh, whoa. There. Die. Thank you. And now for her last Pokemon, Zebstrika. I'm gonna bring out Kevin as a sacrifice just so I could get Palpatode up, up back up. Alright, so Zebstrika has... Level 27 on it. And I forget what she said there. Didn't read it. Yeah, I'm not good at reading. Alright. So, Palpatode. Get up there. Volt Switch, Spark, I believe Flame Charge, and Stomp, I believe. If I'm totally right on that, I'm a nerd. If I'm not, then something will appear on screen right now. Alright. Sacrifice Kevin! 
Okay, quick attack. That's fine. Alright, Palpatone. This way, Zeb Striker can't use Volt Switch or or Spark, so that's that's good. Much shot. Do it. Get it in its belly. And lower its speed. Cool. That's good. And now we can act let's actually use Aqua Ring now. Just so we can heal up a bit every turn. It's not much, but a little bit can make a difference, right? Die! Yay! Jet Strika is now the died, and we get our level up. And more importantly, we can finally end this video! I meant to make your head spin, but you shocked me instead. Too bad! My, oh my, you have a sweet fighting style. I mean, you're a great trainer. Excuse me. I, uh, oh, here. I want you to have this. And we get our awesome badge. Yay! Received the bolt badge. If you have four badges, including this bolt badge, traded Pokemon up to level 50, you idiot, will obey you. Here, here's a move I like. Free to use it, um, if you want to. And we got Volt Switch. None of our Pokemon can learn that. Switches out. Yeah. If you don't have another Pokemon, you can't switch. Are you going to Drip Vale City next? Of course, there's a Pokemon gen after all. Oh. But you won't be able to go there, right? You know what? I'll fix it so you can cross. Wait for me at Route 5. Okay, so let's get out of here now. And please don't let there be a cutscene at the exit, because I really hope there isn't, because I don't want this video to get too long. Please don't let there be a cutscene. Please don't let there be a cutscene. Please do not let there be a cutscene. Yay! There is no cutscene! Alright. So, we're going to stop the episode here now. That battle took way too long. Next time on Let's Play Pokemon Black Version, we are going to head to Route 5 on our next... to head to our next destination. So, see you guys next time. Bye!